If you think a better looking smile will have you grinning from ear to ear, you're probably not wrong. But sometimes the perceived price or pain of dental procedures is enough to stop many people from visits to the dentist. Dr. Andrea Joy Smith is here now to ease those fears and tell us how she helps many patients find new confidence in their smiles with mini dental implants. Good morning, Dr. Smith. Good morning, Aubrey. I'm so happy to be here as always. Nice well, to see you. Yes, and many dental implants are something that we've had you on the show before and you've talked about, but talk about a common way that they are used. Well, one of, my, one of the most common ways that we use mini dental implants are to stabilize dentures. Often when patients uh, have dentures made, they're loose, they're ill-fitting, and so mini dental implants can be placed inside the patient's jawbone and those dentures can snap right into place, causing them to need less adhesives or no adhesives at all, actually, and a much more comfortable fit and, of course, more comfortable eating. Well, it sounds like it can be a real difference maker. We actually have a video of a gentleman that you worked with, and he received an implant procedure at your office. Let's go ahead and take a look at this video. It's amazing. I'm so happy to be able to chew, to smile with confidence, and above all things, once again, chew peanuts and gum without having to worry about anything falling apart. Yeah, definitely a happy uh, client there. Not only is he talking about his smile and the confidence, but he's talking about like being able to eat things that he wasn't able to eat comfortably anyway before he got the implant. Absolutely. Yeah, absolutely. And so, as I mentioned earlier, of course, we use it to stabilize dentures. But if patients are missing just a few teeth, we can also make a very nice uh, implant bridge that will allow that patient to eat their peanuts, chew gum, and do all of the things that they've been missing by having missing teeth or broken teeth. So it's a great uh, solution for a very common dental problem. Dr. Smith, tell us more about how long you've been working with the mini dental implants and how does the cost compare, I guess, to conventional larger implants? Yes, I've been doing mini dental implants for about maybe 15 years. And to date, I've placed well over seven to 8,000 of them. And the cost of mini dental implants, I can't tell you exactly what a conventional implant would cost, but I do know that mini dental implants are about half the cost. And the reason for that is that the procedure is a lot simpler. There's not a lot of moving parts. And so mini dental implants can often give patients a full uh, mouth of teeth where they haven't had uh, teeth before. And patients can often afford it a little bit more because it is about half the cost of conventional implantology. So over these last 15 years that I've placed mini dental implants, I've restored lots of smiles. I've restored lots of confidence. And above all, patients have been able to uh, afford it and feel very good about receiving that treatment. That's definitely great to hear. Can you tell us what you feel sets your office apart when it comes to offering implant services when in dentistry? Yeah, what sets us, uh, our implant system apart is that it is a one-piece system. Conventional implants involve a two to three part system. One, uh, they usually have the actual implant or the screw as some patients like to call it, that's actually placed in the jawbone. And conventionally that is covered for about two to three months. And then after that, um, an abutment is then screwed down with, so that's another two pieces, the abutment and the screw that goes in to hold it down. And then the final piece is a crown. Well, with mini dental implants, what sets it apart is that the implant and the abutment are attached. And so on the day of placement, we can often put a crown, normally a temporary crown, because we do have to wait for that bone integration as well. But at least there is a crown or some type of restoration that's there and not an implant buried under the gums for a few months before it can actually be used. So that is the main thing that sets uh, conventional implantology apart from uh, mini dental implantology. I think they both work. They're both, both very um, valuable uh, assets for people to, to have in their mouth. But I like my procedure better because it is less invasive, it's less costly, less time consuming, and there's fewer dental visits. So that sets it apart right away. I'm sure a lot of people would be interested on those points you just made. Let's take a look at some before and after photos of a lot of those smiles uh, and those makeovers you've been yeah. able to do with the patients you've worked with. Absolutely. This particular patient came in um, after sort of relegating herself to baby food or pureed food for life, she thought. A friend of hers received dental implant treatment in my office, 
And uh, she came in and she says, well, will you ever get tired of helping people like us? <laughs> And I said, no, actually, I won't. I actually, this is what makes me get up every day in the morning. Uh, this gentleman here was about to start doing speaking engagements. And um, before he could do that, he wanted to have more confidence in his smile. So we were able to um, do a full mouth reconstruction with him. And he, he's very, very happy. And he's out there speaking away. Awesome. And this last picture, look at and that this, smile. This last picture, this young lady had actually put off getting married for several years because she wanted to be able to smile beautifully at her wedding. And she told her fiance that, nope, I'm not gonna get married until I get my teeth fixed. And so luckily in June, of, I think it was 2019, she finally got married because we were able to give her that beautifully restored smile. And she's very happy about it. Awesome, I love these success stories, Dr. Smith. Good to know, and thanks for joining us. If you want to connect with Dr. Smith and learn more about mini dental implants, check out smileagainnow.com.